Oh man, I'm just so excited to be sitting here uh, next to the first state champion uh, Raptor in the in the history of the Raptors, uh, Nasir Bailey, uh, state champion at 132 pounds, uh, 3A wrestling. Uh, we're we're so proud of him. I'm so happy to have him sitting here next to me right now and uh, being able to share this update uh, to our families. And so I'm I'm truly appreciative. So. Uh, you just you just uh, had a major accomplishment for the for the district. Can you talk to me a little bit about uh, what that means for you um, as a as a student athlete here, and 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 what impact you think that's going to have on us uh, moving forward in the future? Uh, I mean, in November when we start the season, the big goal is to win state in February. So, I mean, like of course this is the, my goal to win state this year. Uh, I want to state the past two years, so. I mean, like, I think this had a big impact on the school because I'm the first uh, state state champion in any sport. So, I mean, like, everybody's support. I mean, like, thank you. So, so, um, how, what what has it been like with your peers? Have they been excited for you? Have they been congratulating you? What what has it been like in the school? Yeah, everybody been showing me love. I mean, like, there's nobody that I could say I could say actually say anything negative me negative to me. I mean, everybody said congratulations. So just thank you. Wow, wow. So, so you, 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 you've been on this journey. This is your third state title, uh, two here in the state of Illinois and, and one in the state of Texas. Uh, talk to me about what it takes to make a, a champion. What, what are some of the things that you have to put into your mindset in order for you to reach those goals that you've been consistently reaching each year? Uh, I mean, as a kid, my family and my dad, they always like, they always push to me that I could be a great wrestler one day. I mean, like a state champion, NCAA champion, Olympic champion. So the highest, I mean, like the highest standards was always set for me. So, I mean, like today, when it's state, I mean, like I'm just always looking to do the next best thing. I mean, like my parents always told me I could do it. So once you keep hearing something, you believe it after a certain amount of time. Wow. So it's that it's that constant messaging about if you believe it, you can achieve it. And yeah. you constantly get that message from your family, from your support groups, from your coaches. Right. Uh, and that that makes the, the journey a little bit easier. All right. But talk to me about the work. Like how often do you practice? What is the work that goes behind it so that you can be the best? Man, you got to put in so much. It's, it's so many hours that you got to put in, so many shots that you got to put up. In, in the practice room I mean like it's so much stuff that people don't see that I mean like that you gotta go through weight you gotta lose I mean like meals you gotta miss so I mean, I guess it's a, it's a long journey it's a tough journey but I mean like it's a good path to success for me I guess so you you've been incredibly successful so far in your in your early career but there's some times where you probably haven't been successful how do you handle the times where you haven't been? How do you correct those things so that you don't experience that uh, moving forward in the future? I think the biggest thing is, is for me is just remembering how I felt. I mean, like losing, losing is bad, but it's not. I mean, like at the end of the day, from every L, you learn some. So I mean, like just learning and moving on and correcting it. I mean, like if you keep correcting your mistakes, eventually, I mean, like you can hope to be perfect. So. That's what I'm just trying to do every time I wrestle. So, so if I'm hearing you correctly, basically, learn from your mistakes. Don't quit. Just keep getting better. Keep practicing. Keep getting better. That's that's right. what you have to do in order to become a champion. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. So, so we we were having conversations earlier. You were telling me a little bit about um, your 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 brothers. Can you can you talk a little bit about your brothers and your family uh, in terms of this tradition of excellence and and how, what role they've played in, in your life and helping you down this path? Uh, so my oldest brother, Bilal Bailey, he go to Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, it's a D1 college. Uh, my, my middle brother go to University of North Carolina, which I'll be attending. And I mean, like, we all, my freshman year at TF North, we all won state titles. So, I mean, like, I always looked up to them. I always want to be like them, so. When I see them winning, that's what I want to do. I mean, like, if you see something, you not, you're not going to want to go away from that path if you see they doing good. So, 
Like they in D1 colleges, so I'm just following what they they did in high school. And then my my granddad, he wrestled at Bloom. He was a state champion. And my uncle also wrestled at Mount Carmel. He is a state champion. Wow, wow. So there's just there's just a lot of uh, support there from your, from your family and expertise, and uh, that that's amazing. It it really takes us all coming together to to support um, our youth. Um, if you had to give a message to uh, students out there watching this that you know maybe struggling and but, but want to become a champion, want to be the best at whatever they're uh, trying to accomplish, w what advice would you give them to help them obtain their goals and reach their goals? What advice would you give them? I just say every time you fail, it's a it's a closer step to being successful. So I mean, I like, never never doubt yourself and never like belittle yourself just because. I mean, like you might have lost, or you might have took an L. I mean, I like just bounce back and try to win, you know? I'm, I'm so happy I have uh, Nasir here with me today. He's gonna actually help me do the weekly update. Uh, so I'm, I'm really appreciative of you, and I thank you for doing this with me. Uh, I, it's, it's always great to sit next to, to a champion, and our, our future is, is really bright here uh, in Rich Township uh, because we have a lot of students like Nasir. And so I'm really, really appreciative of you helping us out with this. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Johnny Thomas, Superintendent of Rich Township High School District 227. Thank you for listening to and watching this week's update. There's only one week left for our parents to complete the five essential survey. As a parent, this opportunity will allow you to share your thoughts on how important elements of school effectiveness schools need 20% of their parents to respond in order to receive a report and we are counting on you for your participation. We hope that you will take 20 minutes today to complete the survey and share your feedback. The survey will close March 11th. I have a few more updates to share with you, so please listen further. Governor Prisker has made mask wearing optional. School districts are allowed to enact their own mask requirements. District 227 will continue to wear our masks. Our goal is to keep our staff and students safe. District 227 will require faculty, staff, students, and external visitors to wear a mask. Your safety and well-being is important. Spring parent teacher conferences will be held in person and are scheduled for Thursday, March 17th from 5.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. and Friday, March 18th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Parents will have the option of meeting with their student's teacher in person or virtually. Our last school improvement early dismissal is Monday, March 14th. We will swap our Monday and Thursday schedule that week. Instead of following the Monday schedule, students and staff will follow their Thursday schedule on March 14th. Students and staff follow their Monday schedule on Thursday, March 17th. Juniors and seniors will be dismissed at 12, 10 p.m. Freshmen and sophomores will be dismissed at 1.10 p.m. Grab and go lunches will be available. District 227 will host two upcoming COVID-19 vaccine clinics for students, staff, and community. The March 10th clinic will be held at the Fine Arts Campus from 3 to 7 p.m. The March 15th clinic will be held at the STEM Campus from 3 to 7 p.m. We will offer first and second doses in addition to boosters for our students and staff, as well as the community. We will offer the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our Department of Student Support Services. Finally, are you a graduating senior? Have you completed your FAFSA? State law now requires all Illinois public high school seniors to complete either the free application for federal student aid or alternative application for Illinois financial aid as a requirement of receiving a high school diploma. The deadline to complete the FAFSA is April 30th. If you have any questions or need any support, please do not hesitate to contact one of our post-secondary success team members, which includes your child's counselor, college career, military liaison, or transition coordinator. Thank you again for taking the time to watch and listen to this week's update. For real-time updates regarding new information, I encourage you to visit our website 
As always, make sure you stay connected with us on social media and continue to check your emails regularly. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and continue to look after each other because we're stronger together.